Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm gonna take you through the steps of how I do my hair when I wear it naturally curly. I wanted to do my routine for today with products that I use on a regular basis that I know are going to act well with my hair um, and give me the desired look that I want. So I will show you guys what my hair looks like. And as you can see, it still has a ton of movement, even though I use a lot of gel. Yeah, if you guys want to see how I got to this, just keep on watching. All right, guys. So first, I make sure that all of my hair is soaking wet in the shower. And I want to make sure that everything is evenly dispersed. So I first go in with my shampoo. I will emulsify it in my hands first before I apply it to my roots. And I do scalp massage quite a bit to make sure to get all of the dirt off of my scalp and make sure that any debris or anything that's in my hair kind of run down the length of my hair considering that it's not a sulfate shampoo. And then I will apply conditioner after rinsing that out. I part my hair in the middle and will detangle one side at a time just because it's easier for my hair and also it's a lot gentler. I do sometimes use a comb, but right now I'm just finger detangling because I do find that it's more gentle to the hair. And also just ignore that my eyes are looking very uh, raccoon-like. Forgive me, I'm not a professional videographer. So once I've detangled all of my hair, I then flip it over and start raking through and I do what's called squish to condish, which basically means squishing your hair or squishing the conditioner into your hair and also the water. I do need to make sure that I get all of the conditioner off of my scalp and that my hair gets lifted off of my scalp, otherwise it will dry pretty flat on top. And the reason that I do make sure my roots are completely cleansed of conditioner is because otherwise it does weigh my hair down. So I do squish a lot of the water out with just my hands and then I will apply a leave-in conditioner just in the shower while raking it all through. And this is on soaking wet hair and then I will put all of my hair into a shower cap. And the shampoo and conditioner I used today was by Diva Curl, and it's the Low Poo Delight and the One Condition Delight. And that is official Kinky Curlies, not today. So once my hair is in the shower cap and I get out of the shower, I will then flip my head over and apply Diva Curl's Frizz Free Foam just to my scalp at the very top where my roots are, um, just to create a little bit of lift. And I will apply Wave Maker and I do rake this through my hair. I do find that raking through my curls actually helps with volume and make sure that my curls don't turn into ringlets because I don't find that I enjoy that look as much as I do the broken up curl look which is why I do rake my products through. And then also I will use the Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel and apply that to the lengths of my hair. I do rake through and I also do praying hands to create clumps again. And then I will scrunch it all in, just making sure that my hair has as much curl enhancement and definition as possible before I scrunch out a lot of the water with my flower sack towel. And these you can actually find at Walmart. I did put it in a highlight on my page on my Instagram page just so you guys can see they're only like four bucks and they come in like a five pack and they're awesome for scrunching out water because they hold a lot of water and they don't create frizz so I will scrunch out as much water as possible and then I will go into air drying and as you can see my hair has a little bit of dryness so I did add a little bit more gel um, just to make sure that all of my curls set in a cast because otherwise some will be softer than others and it doesn't create as much definition and now I will root clip before I start air drying so I will either do this to the side or to the very front and I do have a highlight on this called curly bangs on my Instagram page this is the way that I clip my bangs when I'm gonna wear them to the front and I will clip them back first because that helps when I do my makeup and it helps to air dry. So I clip, 
clip them back and then I air dry for about mm, 30 minutes to an hour depending on how long it takes me to do my makeup. And as you can see, I have very minimal frizz. And then after I'm done with my makeup or whatever I have to do, I will take out the clips and then I will add a bit more product and water. So in this case, I'm using the Diva Curl Ultra Defining Gel and running my hands under the sink. And then I will just glaze over the product over my curls just to make sure that all of the curls are held in a cast to make sure that they all dry the same way. And I'm just open hand scrunching so that I'm not disturbing the curls too much. So then I will go straight into diffusing and I am using the Extrava diffuser and this is just a GVP um, dryer from Sally's. And I am diffusing on high heat and high speed. I don't find that that damages my hair and I don't really hold it in the same place for very long. And right now I'm just setting my cast. I have watched Mains by Mel do her diffusing video and she talks about setting the cast, the cast first before actually scrunching your hair up. And that's kind of what I'm doing, but more so lifting from the root with the Extava diffuser. And then I switch it out for my collapsible diffuser because I do find that I get more shrinkage and I'm still doing it on high speed, high heat. And I'm not keeping it on each of the areas that long because I don't want to damage my hair. But this diffuser really helps with shrinkage and it's super affordable at Sally's. And it's the Ion Collapsible Diffuser and it's a silicone diffuser. And what I'm doing is just moving the diffuser around to make sure all of the spots of my hair get dry. I only hold it in each spot for about 10 seconds, if that. And also, as you'll notice, I'm going pretty fast. I don't actually um, turn off the diffuser anymore while I'm diffusing my hair. I used to do that, but I find that I don't mind as much frizz as I used to before. And then after diffusing, I will root clip just on almost... 100% dry hair just to make sure that I get my hair placed exactly where I want it as well as creating a little bit of volume and root lift just because my hair is very bottom heavy because my hair is coarse and pretty dense I do have trouble with getting like a flat top so I have to make sure that I either diffuse upside down or style upside down to make sure that the top of my hair doesn't stick to my scalp and as you can see, my hair takes forever to dry because I do have a lot of hair and it is coarse. So my hair holds a ton of water. So now that my hair is about 90% dry, I do have to go somewhere. So I'm just gonna take out the clips. So taking out the clips, you'll see that it's actually pretty easy to take them out and then what I do is I will just fluff my roots and then flip my head upside down and just finish scrunching out the crunch to the rest of my hair and then I will just fluff and place my curls where I want them and by this time my hair is usually 100% dry so I can be a little bit rougher with them but if your hair is not 100% dry be very careful because if you do manipulate them too much you can create more frizz. But that's pretty much it guys. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. And this is the finished product.